present plays from the four corners of the world. Comedy, drama, suspense, true life adventure in Tuesday Theatre. What do you make of it, Marty? I reckon it's time we weren't here. All right, where do we go? The revolutionaries have taken the harbour, the airport, and most of the town. Okay. So what does that leave us, old pal? The hills. At least we can lie low for a spell. Get our breaths back. I guess this is the punishment we get for joining the wrong side. It didn't seem like the wrong side when we started. If we'd been wise like some of the others. We'd have had our ears to the ground and switched sides when it was still possible. Like Archie and Pete and Mike did. I'll lay you ten to one right now. That they're down there in town looting and generally having a ball. It's a pity we can't join them. Yeah, it's too late, Bill. The Federalists know us now. We'd be up against a wall and shot before we have time to smoke a cigarette. That's the price you got to pay for being wrong, that's all. Why did I ever go and get myself involved in one of these Dago wars? The money, wasn't it? Yeah, if you left to collect it. And now we've lost, we'll be lucky if we collect it at all. Even if we do get out of Vista Monte in one piece. Oh, don't be gloomy, Bill. All we do is go up into the hills. That's where the Federalists are hiding till a few weeks back. We go gorilla until we can figure a way out of the country. Okay? Okay. If you say so, Marty. Keeping its prices low. Only two round twenty nine, excluding GST, for forty lilates regular. Supermarket prices on account. Wanneer die reese succes wat twin cijfers met hulle eerste treffer gezichtsnesies behaal het, as hulle terug met een splinter nieuwe vrijstelling. Twin cijfers toiletpapier. Ongelooflijke waarde en gehalte van die economische Twin Cijfers Groep. Zacht en gevoelvol in blauw of vier ander stemmingskleuren. Twin Cijfers nieuwe vrijstelling toiletpapier. Koop in vier of sommere pak van vouw. Twin Cijfers waarde tegen een Twin Cijfers prijs. Een boodschap van Dracula, die bekende Kill specialist. In my beroep sien ek dikwels a pijn in die nek, die hoes, die heer stem en my persoonlijke gunsteling die seer keel. Volg my raad vir verlichting van a seer keel suigestrelende strepsel. Strepsels bevat twee krachtige middels wat mond en keelinfeksies vinnig help verlig. Strepsels, ware medicine vir seer keel. I knew when I went with a group of ex-army blokes to Central America that I wasn't really cut out to be a mercenary. Still, the country's dictator was offering us good pay to help him stamp out the guerrillas in the hills, which didn't appear at first sight to be such a problem. But it was. You see, for every one we chopped down, the enemy were able to recruit 20 more. And that meant the more we killed, the bigger the favour we did them. And our dictator paymaster got more and more corrupt. Some of the fellows saw the way the political wind was blowing and switched sides. Me and Marty? Well, we were less adventurous and perhaps less imaginative too. Anyway, one day the enemy, which was known as the Federalista Group, came out of the hills in their thousands and everything on our side suddenly fell apart. Our dictator flew off to friendlier shores to enjoy his foreign investments and Marty and I tried to save our necks. We fled towards the hills away from the city but just behind a small fishing village called Bahia Cadiz. After resting for a quick snack, we were just passing along the bottom of a steep-sided ravine. My boots won't last long like this. Oh, will you quit moaning and keep up? 
Don't you remember this place? That's how I do. We went after the Federalists along here about uh, six months ago. Remember the cave? You mean the one where we used the flamethrowers? You got it. About ten of them hid in that cave and we cooked them. Well, I've been thinking. That cave's as good as any to lie low in for a while. We can raid the village occasionally for food. Can't be more than two miles away from here. Well, I hope the bodies have been clean out of it by now. Oh, don't go getting squeamish. Anyhow, they'll just be bones by now. What's a few old bones? Ah, down there! <coughs> hey, how do you like that? We've been bushwhacked by a Federalist of patrol. That was darn close. Where did that fire come from? I had to say. It could have been all around us. It's all echoes and rocks down here. Could have been one machine gun or ten. Yeah. We've gotten careless, old pal. We're sitting ducks here. Yeah, I'm fed up. Can't we just surrender and hope for the best? Are you crazy? They'll shoot us. We're going to get shot here anyway. That that was close. You see what I mean? Look, perhaps if we smile and be cooperative, they'll treat us friendlier. I don't like it. All right, what's the alternative? We can shoot back, but I've only got 15 rounds left. What about you? I got eight. Not a good that'll do. Look, the fighting's been over here for weeks now. The bloodlust's gone out of them. Come on, let's take a chance. Okay, so we can only lose our necks. Give them some of that pigeon Spanish of yours. All right, here we go. Hello! Que passe? Por que fuego? Estamos, seu amigos? Escuche! Estamos, amigos? Este ustedes, americanos! That's a flippin' woman. Si, un americano, un Australian, not the mass. Please, you will come out into the open without your weapons, okay? Uh, let's go, buddy. I don't like it, Matty. What do you mean? It was your idea. These women fighters are more bloodthirsty than the men. You saw what they did in Karamanga. Ah, oh, now, look, let's get it over with before they overrun us. Come on, leave your gun there. Surrendering to a blooming woman. My old captain would laugh his head off. I reluctantly followed Matty Prescott out from the cover of an overhang and stood in the sunlight with my hands on my head. I expected to see a horde of ragged Federalists come in bounding toward us. My very forced, welcoming smile faded when all I saw was a 20-year-old girl in a bright red dress and carrying a very man-sized machine gun. It was my first meeting with Dolores. <laughs> You are running away from Kalida, no? You were working for that pig Bamere. Ha! Mercenaries! We, uh, we were out hunting, actually. You cannot lie to me. It is lucky you have found one who is sympathetic. Eh? You mean you support the, uh... The the... cause of pig Bamere? No. I am sympathetic because I think you are two handsome men who have been misled. Two men are now being hunted like wild dogs. Oh. Now I see. Are, uh, Are you alone? I was at the work when that animal, Manuel Bovero, shouted angrily at me. I hit him with a plate and a lamp. Now I am here, thinking over my future with this hombre loco. And uh, who is uh, Manuel Povero? He is huh? the sergeant of police at Bahia Cadiz, and I am his secretary. He also aspires to be my lover, perhaps even my husband. Oh, ain't that all we need? I have a mind to spite him. See, I will spite him. He would be praised and rewarded if he captured two of Bambera's runaways. So, I will hide you, bring you food. We will be friends, hmm? Yeah? Uh, si, senorita. So to me. Then I will make a plan for you to escape to America. We'd be mighty grateful. There is an old woodman's hut hidden from the road. You will be safe there. Come, bring your guns. You might need them if that animal Manuel Povero is looking for me to beg my forgiveness. It was an odd turn of events, but as you can imagine, any offer of help was welcome. Dolores took us to a tumble-down shack which was partly hidden by overgrown vegetation. A chatter bubbled on for a few minutes, and then she left, promising to bring us food and drink after dark. 
It's been dark three hours already. Well, all kinds of things could have happened. Yeah, that's what I'm beginning to think. After all, she's only helping us to spite her boyfriend. What happens if they've made up? We're up to our ears in it. We could push on. Not in the dark. Okay. In the morning, if she doesn't come. Fair enough. I wonder what that girl's doing right now. Oh, Manuel, it is so beautiful out here. Uh, not as beautiful as you are, Dolores. Mm, it is not what you said this morning. Well, you made me angry. Because I used six paper clips to hold open the window. Oh, so petty. How many times must I remind you that the revolutionary government has told us we should avoid waste? A curse on the government! How long will it be before Jose Carrigo becomes a dictator like that fat pig Bamera? Hmm? Dolores, that is almost sacrilege. You could be shot for such talk. And you would shoot me? Oh. Ha! You are a worm, Manuel Bovero. An idiot! A laptop of the politician! Dolores, where are you going? I have just remembered that I have some pet to feed. Yeah. For a while, we thought you weren't coming, Dolores. You think I would forget a matter so important? No, no, of course not, no. No, no offense, meant. I have spent all my time thinking of a way for you to escape. It is best by sea. We'd need a boat. I have a beautiful boat. Red and white. The colors of the revolution. She is ten meters long, with a very good diesel engine. Oh, oh, you're kidding. I do not tell lies. Where is this boat? Where else would you find a boat? In the fishing harbor. So, you own a boat. Why, that's just fantastic. Well, I do not exactly own it. She belongs to that inconsiderate animal, Manuel Povero. May he rot in... Ow, oh, ow, oh, him, I see. It is, in fact, not his property. It is the launch for the police. Manuel Povero is in charge. It will mean I shall have to make friends with him, which you must understand will be a terrible ordeal for me. Of course, yes, of course. I hate him as much as I hate the Farrell Listers. But, uh, I thought you fought for them. See, that is so. And now I find they are crooks and liars. I must go. I will come back tomorrow with food and the news of my boat. Buenos noches. Hey, what do you make of that, Marty? Oh, she's a nut, a pepped-up ball of fire. But, man, she's gorgeous as well. <laughs> I'll bet she drives this Manuel Pavero guy crackers. Yeah, in every way. Special by name, special by nature. That's Mills Special, England's luxury cigarette, now made here from the finest, most expensive tobacco. Mills Special is fractionally shorter, noticeably thicker, unavoidably more expensive. But then it is Mills Special, a cigarette for connoisseurs. Van internationale model tot hoofd van Riva's schoonheidsproducten, zoals op tv gezien, die succesverhaal van Riva Vormen. Ik is Riva, ik zal u opleiden als een professionele schoonheidsconsultant en gemeer kunstenaar is, met mijn Riva Krijenproducten in opbundende gemeren. Ons heeft talle klanten voor u, werk in uw eigen tijd, verdienen uit muntende inkomsten. Schakel Johannesburg, 339-1681 of Krij Riva, r e v a en in Poenge. La tradition française. Discover the secrets of great French brandies. Discover the secrets of Richelieu. The smoothness of noble breathing. The softness of absolute purity. Mellowness from years of rest in casks of cognac oak. Maturity from careful blending by continental masters of the art. Today's taste is Richelieu. The brandy in the age-old French tradition. Dolores, 
I want to talk to you. Make it quick, Manuel. You know that I must finish these reports this morning. Look, I'm really sorry about our quarrels yesterday. It must be through tension. These are worrying times, Gerida. See, si, I think I understand. Central office is forever on the telephone wanting to know why our vigilance is slackening off. They say there are many enemies in the area. Escapees from the Mareth's army, especially those murdering mercenaries. Oh, just to have one fall into my hands, then I would be able to breathe easy again. I have 30 men out combing the hills, but these paid killers melt away into the rocks and trees like, like dust. See, just as we did not so very long ago. You, you are going out? I have an appointment with Dr. Sanchez. I will be back soon. I oh, see. Am I forgiven? Of course, my love. <sighs> All I live for is to make my Manuel Provero a happy man. Coming up the path now. Oh, good. She's got a parcel. I'm starving. Eh, I'm more interested in that boat. So I can't figure out how she can get us a police patrol launch. Shh. She's hmm? here. Here she is. Hello, Dolores. So you're a welcome sight. And a beautiful one. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Here, I have brought you cheese, bread, and some meat. Oh, oh good out. An angel of mercy. I have good news mm. for you. You, uh, you. You managed to get the boat? Oh, better, much better. You must surrender. <coughs> what do you mean, surrender? Honey, you. You've got to be kidding. See? You must give yourselves up. There is a. Um, oh, how do you call it? Um, an, an amnesty. You will be safe and sent back to your homes. This has just been announced. You, uh, you uh, seem to know a lot. Do I not work for the police? Is not my lover the chief of the police? You mean that stupid Manuel Pavero? How dare you say such a thing of my Manuel? He is the sweetest and kindest man in the whole wide oh, world. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy. No offense, man. Okay, okay. You will surrender, yes? No. I don't trust amnesties. They're used to bring a guy out into the open where he can easily be chopped down later. You must give yourselves up. It is impossible to leave here alive if you do not. But what about the boat? What boat? Hmm? Oh, you mean the police launch. Huh. Such means of escape are impossible. You must forget such foolish ideas. But, 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 but it was your idea. I must go now. I will come after work and lead you to my beloved Manuel. He will be very happy to meet you. What a bombshell. Yeah, what a nut. Surrender? What a crazy idea that is. Not really, when you think about it, Marty. I mean, if she's right and... We could get repatriated. What more do we want? Yeah, it's tricky, Bill. It isn't. She's the police chief's secretary, right? If anybody should know the facts, it's her, right? Well, there is that in her favor. Look, we have got to trust her. The boat's out and we can't keep running like a pair of hunted foxes. Look, we must give ourselves up, Marty. Uh, okay, okay. So we give up. I just pray we're doing the right thing. We are. I know we are. What are these? Letters for posting, Carito. You have to sign them. So early in the afternoon? It is only just past three. I shall take them to the post office myself. It is hot and I wish to go home early. No, no, you must stay until five. It is the rule. I often go home early and you have not behaved so officiously. Is power going to your head, Manuel Povero? Are you thinking of becoming a dictator like that pig, Bamereth? <laughs> See, you would fit the part well, seducing all the young secretaries and making them work long, long hours. Dolores, please listen to no, me. No, I will not listen to you for a moment longer. You are a miserable, slave-driving pig. Now, and wait. I refuse to be a victim any longer. Adios, Manuel. Ah. <sighs> 
What have I done now? I have brought you more food. Oh, why? I mean, uh, well, we're, we're all ready to go. No. You must stay here. What? We were going to surrender ourselves. That would be madness. You must not even think of doing such a stupid thing. Oh, now, now, wait a minute. D didn't the you say that... The federalists are shooting their prisoners. To surrender is to die. And that foul swine Manuel Povero will take pleasure in torturing you first. No. You must stay here where you'll be safe from him and his murdering henchmen. I... I think I'm going crazy. Oh, please, please. You must keep your wits about you. For tonight, we will escape in the police launch. Hang on, did you say we? Are you running away too? We will all run away. You, me and Manuel Povero. The same Manuel Povero who is chief of police? See, his uh, job is troubling him. Hmm? It is time he had a change. Oh. He has changed from the laughing lover he was three months ago. He wants to run away? Is that how we'll come to use the police boat? See, si. Manuel Povero does not want to run away from this wicked regime, but he will. How else can we get the boat? I've no idea. My mind is boggling. No, 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 look, Lador is a, a minute ago, you called Manuel Povero a foul swine, huh? Yet now you talk of him as if he were on our side, if you know what I mean. Oh, it is of no importance. No, please. You must be ready to leave here no later than ten tonight. Ha! Oh, just think. By tomorrow we'll be free of this accursed federalist regime with its false promises and cruelty. Oh, it is you, Dolores. I thought you had gone and were never coming back. My work comes first, Manuel Povero. Oh. I want to see if you have signed those letters. Oh, oh, no. I'll do it now. Here are three more. Please hurry if I'm to catch the post. Look, I want to talk to you, Dolores. We are having too many arguments of late. Once a day is quite sufficient. I have nothing to say to you. Please, Dolores. I'd die if we broke up. Look, let us go somewhere where we can be alone tonight. There is only one place I am prepared to meet you. See? Si? Take me for a ride on the police launch tonight. But you know that is impossible. Completely against the regulations. The regulations? You dare to all say... All right, all right. The police launch. See, si. That is better. You will make certain it has plenty of fuel. Hmm? Oh, I have often dreamed of us sailing together all night on the sea. All night? Si, Manuel. I like my pleasures in large slices. At ten exactly, Dolores came for us. We followed her down to the foot of a wooden harbour jetty, tied up at the end of which was the police launch. She then left us, saying she had to go for Manuel. In the meantime, we were expected to dispose of the two-man crew and take over their places. There. Can you see him? Silhouetted in the moonlight? Yeah. Ah, oh, he's big. Oh, stop complaining. The other one might be bigger. Now go on. Don't worry about noise. It'll bring his pal out from wherever he's stealing a nap. Well, you be ready then, eh? I don't want to have to take on two at once. Now, Bill, quit playing for time. We had no intention of killing the crewmen. The idea was to overwhelm them, tie them, and hide them in the bushes at the end of the jetty. My target was sitting at the foot of the gangway. He didn't see me coming until I was on top of him. <laughs> Carlos! Carlos! He fought back hard and his shout alerted his cobber. I saw from the corner of my eye a dark shape launching itself at me from the head of the gangway. His weight pushed me low, but a split second later he was dragged away by Marty as he came into action. Five minutes later, the unconscious crewmen were safely out of the way and Dolores and her bow were coming on board for their all-night cruise.
gratis van Ricoffee. Een hooggehalte vlekvrije staaltelefoon met varing ontwerp ter waarde van 50 cent. En elke speciaal gemerkte 750 gram blik Ricoffee. Hier beperkte aanbod is nu beschikbaar bij u naast de supermarkt. Kom aan die gang met Ricoffee, ze was de collega. So if you're big as a house, small as a mouse, tall as a wall, round as a ball. Active Pantyhose by Cameo are guaranteed to fit perfectly every time, no matter what shape you're in. More savings from your Plus Chemist. Active Pantyhose by Cameo in the shades you love best. Money saving classes from your Plus Chemist. Zo bij melk in, dat ik ga vragen. Hoe niet ver nu, zeg je glimlach. Ja, meest kom niet ver met melk. Als Cadbury chocolade gemaakt moet worden. Want je hebt in een half glas nodig om in een blok te maken. Maar het is daar een bij een dik blok, dat ik gezegd. Cadbury chocolade, dik met in een half glas melk. Dink dik. It's as though, as though never a harsh word had passed between us. It is good to see you so happy, Manuel. From this day on, we will start afresh. See? Nothing, nobody will come between us. What is the matter? Why are you looking over there? We are going too far out. I can no longer see the lights of the town. You don't want to go back, do you? But... We have each other now, and the whole world in front of us. Dolores, what are you talking about? You can't go back now, Manuel. They will shoot you. Oh, we are on our way to freedom, Carito. Have you taken leave of your senses? You are now a defector. I'm not. And why should they shoot me? Well, because of your confession, of course. C confession? Arriving at the central office tomorrow is your statement that you have always been a Bamera spy. And you are running away only because somebody who knows the truth is blackmailing you. Dolores. Central office loves spy stories and believes them without question. Is that not so? Oh, you are a foolish girl. A confession is worthless unless it is signed. It is signed, Manuel. What? This afternoon. You never read your letter. Oh, you can't do this to me. I have, darling. <gasps> oh. Please don't take it so badly. We're all going to be so happy. You, me, Marty and Bill. Marty? Uh, and Bill? Oh, yes. I almost forgot. I must tell you about Marty and Bill. Listen again at the same time next week when we shall bring you another comedy, drama, or play of suspense in Tuesday Theatre.